Hi everyone, it's Ashley, and I wanted to do a one week update. Um, I'm in my bathroom. Uh, my mom is here, and uh, I kind of feel weird making videos with her around. Uh, I don't even think she knows I make videos. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to um, basically start with a little intro. I'm Ashley. I had um, band to sleeve revision. Um, August 3rd, I had my band out. December 21st, I had the sleeve done, which was one week ago. Um, and my incisions look great. I won't show you again. They just, trust me, they look good. Um, I had my uh, appointment today, and she said everything looks good. And um, around the 19th, 20th, well, it's hard to explain, but around mid-December I can start um, solid foods. Right now I'm still on pureed foods, and honestly they're getting kind of boring. But anyway, what can you do? So, um, my highest weight before I had the lap band in 2012 was 320 pounds. Sorry, that was annoying me. Um, my lowest weight with the band was 240. Um, my pre-op weight um, before the pre-op diet um, that I started at the beginning of December was um, 309 pounds. Day of surgery I was 301. And um, today I weighed in at 283 pounds. Yeah. What? Uh, I apparently I've lost 18 pounds um, since surgery um, in a week. <laughs> like, I don't know. I checked it twice. <laughs> like, and on, like, um, on my surgeon scale, it was still the same. Like, that was crazy. Anyway, um, I had my surgery done at St. Charles Hospital on Long Island, New York. Um, with Dr. Angstadt of the uh, Stop Stop Obesity for Life group. Um, so that's that. So my week um, with the sleeve has been really good. Um, I healed really fast. I honestly never felt like in a huge amount of pain. Right after surgery, I can remember like rubbing my stomach and feeling like I had like a tummy ache and I was like oh and then the nurses did their thing um with the meds and I didn't feel like that again so um I think what else um we went up to New Hampshire on the Friday I had the surgery Wednesday and we went to New Hampshire Friday um because that's where my family is um, it was a lot easier um, to go up there and have them all around us with the kids than uh, staying home and trying to occupy them here, really. So we got back yesterday, um, Wednesday. Um, yeah, I stopped taking the medication during the day, oof, Monday, and then I think Tuesday. I think Monday night was the last time I took anything. Um, yeah, because it really helped to sleep, actually. Um, I felt taking two whatever they gave me. Where they here? They gave me oxycodone slash with acetaminophen. Um, it said to take one to two tablets by mouth every four hours. I never had to do that. Um, let me put those the kitties don't get them um and I still have like half the bottle left um what am I trying to say yeah I never had to take them every four hours so um that's just my pain, pain threshold I guess um but at night it really helped um I would take two um before I went to sleep and then wouldn't take anything else um um uh, some usually the big, like Saturday, Sunday, um, I took maybe one dose in the middle of the day, and that was about it. So, I don't think there's very much else to say. 
Um, week one, I got a new Fitbit, so I'm trying to walk. Yeah, not even 5,000 steps today. Been pretty lazy. My, uh, my incisions hurt when I bend down, so um, I haven't been doing that, and I feel like I'm holding myself a lot. Um, as most of you know, I have a young child. He's almost 17 months, and I've probably been carrying him. I, I try not to carry him, but I've probably been lifting him to things too much. So, um, my mom's here, um, until she's probably for a week. So I will, I'm trying to let her do a lot of the lifting and carrying. So that's it. Have a great week, everyone.